Hey, it's Jace. How's it going? These are the Soundcore Q30 headphones, and they may just be the absolute best budget headphones. In fact, if you go to the website right now, they are currently sold out. So today we're going to discuss what may be causing them to sell out. And also, if you don't want to be here for the entire video, even though we've got some nice bookmarks and chapters below for you to navigate around, in the description you'll find timestamps so you can jump to the section you most want. All right, let's get started. To take the crown of the absolute most affordable, on-ear, best quality <laughs> headphones, then we have to start with price. So that's where we're gonna go. And I know usually you'd save the price till the end, but actually I think for the quality of these headphones, the price may be the biggest impact on these headphones. These headphones start at £79.99 or $79.99. So why is that important? Well, in the crazy world we live in today, where you have Apple doing the AirPods Pro Max at £550, price is important. And for a lot of you, you may not have a really high budget to get some headphones. £80 is a pretty interesting sweet spot. It's definitely a lot cheaper than Bose or Beats, and it's actually incredibly comfortable to wear in comparison to other headphones of a previous similar price. They have a very, very good quality build to them for their price. But the price of $79.99, I think, is one of those things that attract you to look and consider these headphones. I think by the end of this review, I think we will be able to look back and all agree that $79.99 to get these headphones, with all the benefits we're going to be discussing today, is absolutely worth it. So after we considered the price, which is probably the most important element of budget on-ear headphones, the next step is going to be comfort, without a doubt. One of the things I really wanted to do was to get some that were nice and big, and the ear cup inside had plenty of space for my ears. So I'm gonna do a little comparison or relative size comparison. We're gonna get a, a card, just a normal standard card, and we're gonna put it up next to, so, the space inside is about the size of my thumb, <laughs> which is not which is not a very scientific way of measuring this. Um, I'll see if I can find some, some more scientific dimensions and leave them in the comments around here in the video somewhere. Needless to say, they're nice and big inside. You can see the spacing inside is really nice and big. So if you're considering getting maybe the Q20s and you're not sure because you wanna get really nice space and size so they can completely fit over your ears, I would just say go for the Q30s because there's a lot more space inside to fit over your ears. Now, inside you will also find that they do have the information to tell you the right ear and the left ear, so you don't have to worry too much about finding that little thing somewhere, although it does have it inside. Um, now, when you put them on, they'll cover your ears completely and they're very comfortable and immediately the noise cancelling kicks in. So without a doubt, these are really comfortable and the amount of time that it takes for you to put them on and feel like they're uncomfortable is, is a long time. You can wear these for a day quite comfortably, I think, because they're also very light and the ear cups, the way that the cushion works, I think is very premium. It's very good quality. I wouldn't say they're quite as comfortable of the Beats. The Beats have this really insane cushion to them. However, back to the first point of for £80, I think it's really hard to find something that could be more comfortable, cover more of your ear for that price. So I think in that sense, these are really comfortable. And honestly, I'm really surprised by the size of the inside of those cups and the space that it gives and the comfort of those cushions that as you can see are quite nice and thick. So I would definitely recommend these for comfort. They're very, very good. Now, when you're talking about headphones, of course, one of the things you're gonna to wanna to look at is high-res audio. High-res audio is becoming a standard when it comes to audio. And I'm gonna be honest, guys. I'm gonna put this out there. 
and be completely transparent, I'm definitely not an audiophile by any stretch or any means. So I'm just taking this almost as an average consumer that enjoys listening to good quality sound and looking just at what kind of certifications they have. High res audio is something that everybody now should be looking for inside the audio quality of any headphones they're buying. And these come certified with high res audio. So you know the quality of the audio that are gonna come with these are going to be good. Okay, let's talk about the build quality. As we can see, the build quality here is quite nice. There is a, a metal frame that kind of goes around at the top. I believe that it's an aluminium frame at the top. When you move the headphones up and down, it, it slides quite nicely with some tension, but stick really well. You can tell how much it is that you're moving it apart. And I think that's really, really nice. I mentioned before, the cushions are really, really good quality. They're very, very comfortable. And although the headphones are obviously made of plastic, which is a much lighter material than say metal, it is a nice quality um, density. And by that, I mean, they don't feel flaky, they don't feel hollow, they feel quite, quite good uh, how they're made. I think these could probably, these could probably take a few knocks. Um, you may have actually heard a little knock earlier on when I put these on the table. And the hinges, um, the, the actual bit that goes inside, that goes on top of your head, this little bit here is also really, really comfortable. They've really thought about how can they also make sure they spread that space so that when you put them on, they feel incredibly comfortable. Speaking of price relative to quality, affordable luxury, you could say. We live in a world right now where everything is becoming about luxury, but really what matters is affordability. So I want to take a moment to plug Ospina Media and let you know that at Ospina Media, what we want to do is create websites and online stores for creators or people that work in the content creation or content space. We want to build really great quality websites at the most affordable price possible for those people. As somebody who's passionate about content creation and communication, I wanted to create something that would actually bring value to those people. So if you're a content creator or a creative, then I would love you to head over to ospinamedia.com, link will be in the bio, for us to be able to help you build your website or your online store. Okay, let's get back to the show. Okay, one of the things that differentiate the Q30s from the Q20s and even other budget headphones is the quality of the case that comes with those headphones. Something that you know is gonna protect them, something that feels premium, and something that comes as standard with the headphones. The Soundcore Q30s come with this really nice, hard case. And inside is perfectly shaped and sculpted for those headphones. In fact, it's done in a way that it's really quite hard to take this out. This is purposefully designed for those headphones and it protects them really well. And on the other side, just here, you will also find that there is a space to keep your cables, to keep any books, or to keep anything else in that you may have. I think my only small bit of feedback or criticism I would have given Soundcore is maybe instead of having this pointing down, because the headphones go here, if we think of this as the front, as you can see the Soundcore logo here, is the white ray wound. In here, this is pointing down. So when you open it, things can fall down if there's a lot of things in there. So I would definitely strongly recommend Soundcore in the future with your cases. Put it so this is pointing up. Now, we spoke about the sound quality briefly. Something else is worthwhile keeping in mind with these headphones is they have two built-in microphones. Those two built-in microphones allow it to do some pretty good stuff. So number one, you can have your nice phone calls. The audio quality isn't brilliant, I'll be really honest, when it comes to what people can hear and how you sound. I think that's something that they definitely need to improve, but I think it's also challenging in general in that space. However, they do work and people can hear you and you can have a conversation, but when you compare it to the AirPods or even straight up the normal wired phones you can put on, they're not quite there. There's lots of videos on YouTube you can also find 
I'll leave a link below to one of the other reviews I really like that actually shows you what it sounds with that microphone. But honestly, it's okay. The other great thing about the microphones, or, or not the other great thing, but a really good point about the microphones is that it helps with the noise cancellation. One of the great things they also have is something that Apple started, I believe, which is the transparency mode. So that using the microphones to almost amplify inside the headphones the sound around you so that you can also hear what's going on around you when you don't want to actually cancel the noise. It's, it's almost like the inverse of noise cancellation. It's more like noise amplification. So those microphones allow it to do that and do give it a decent quality when it does. So if you're doing something where you need to be aware of your environment, but also listen to your music, you have that ability. And those two microphones really help achieve that in a very, you know, a very good way. Now for connectivity, there is an app which you can use exclusively with a sound called Q30. And that app does give you a lot more control of the sound quality. And you can really control the balances, you can control the bass, you can control so many different areas of these headphones. If you really wanna go into the sound quality to really fine tune it to get exactly what you want. That's something that is, you know, I think that's something you would almost expect from a pro set of headphones as a consumer. Um, that level of ability to control is great. When I did my research online and, and I looked in all the different places, what I did see is that a lot of people did mention the fact that they would do that and that without it, they wouldn't feel the quality of audio was good enough. I think the quality of audio when I listen to them straight out of the box is perfectly fine. I can see when I do go into the app and make some fine tunes, it does improve it a bit. Speaking of connecting to the app, these have Bluetooth 5 as standard. So the amount of energy they will use from your phone or from your iPad or from your Mac or from your PC or from your Android device, whatever device you're using. If it's also compatible with Bluetooth 5, then you'll also find that it'll use a lot less energy and you'll be able to connect in a much further distance. So it's great that they're using the latest Bluetooth standard within their headphones. And speaking of the latest standards, something else you'll also be really happy to hear is that there are two ports for two really nice things. So at the top, you'll be able to see there is a USB-C port. And at the bottom, you'll be just about to see that there is a jack, an auxiliary cable. So one, USB-C, mm, boom. We are happy to have USB-C. That standardization of USB-C is brilliant. It can do everything you need things to do. I will welcome the world where all connections are USB-C. Okay, so they sound great or they sound great for their price. The build quality is great or the build quality is great for its price. It's got an app. It's got all the things you're looking for. But how about the thing that is really important with wireless devices? How about the battery? Well, the battery life is actually something that I think is pretty positive too, because you get, I have personally found on average about 54 hours of use with active noise cancelling off or around 38 hours with active noise cancelling on. They also have a really great fast charge feature where if you charge it for five minutes, it will let you listen to it for four hours, which I think is incredibly useful. And it's something you definitely wanna be able to do with a USB-C cable, connect it, charge it for five minutes, and you've got four hours of use from it, which is absolutely phenomenal. And for a full charge, you're looking at about two hours to get a full charge, which again, I think that's a very reasonable time. So these headphones are headphones that, for their price of 80 pounds are very good. They're very comfortable. When you move around, they don't really shake off. As soon as you put them on and you hear that noise canceling and that quality, you're doing quite well. I actually tend to think that they don't look too shabby either. The way they look, I'm pretty happy with. They, the, the quality of color, the black that comes with it, it's a matte black, which is really nice. And I quite like the way they've changed their branding on these as well, to move away from putting the full sound core to putting this 
D, which comes from their logo and they've had for quite a while. Um, the quality of these headphones genuinely are very good. The button placement at the bottom, again, is very handy. You've got some very simple buttons here. You've got the volume up, volume down. You've got play and pause. You've got the power. Obviously, the we all know the pause button today can let you hang up calls, answer calls, skip songs, go back on songs. It's become pretty standard. The quality of these headphones for £80 are definitely great. If you're thinking of getting some headphones in a budget, there is no reason why you shouldn't get these. These are definitely some of the best headphones. So, ultimately, these are not the most comfortable headphones. I think that probably goes to the beat. And in terms of the sound quality, obviously there are better headphones. Now with the AirPods Max out for £550, you know, there's a whole new market and exciting thing happening in the headphone space. But if your budget is lower than £100, then these, without a doubt, are the headphones that you want to have. The battery life is very reasonable. The sound quality is, in my mind, very good. And they look not too bad as well. So if you found this video useful, I would really appreciate if you give me a thumbs up. If you waited all the way to the end, I wanted to just leave in the comments the words Iron Man so I know that you're here right till the end and I can give you some extra appreciation. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. You may have noticed I've got the new Apple wallet and the new Apple case, the new iPhone case for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I want to do a review on that next. So if you want to make sure you catch all my videos, subscribe to the channel. I tend to not put out too many videos, so you're not going to be bombarded with a ton of content. I'm trying to do better quality videos and take my time to do them. Your support really is appreciated. My goal next year is to get to that magical thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. So if you can help me achieve that, much appreciated. Thank you for listening. If you waited all the way right here to the end, Iron Man in the comments. Thank you so much for your time. Talk to you soon.